One of the first surprising facts about retirement you sh- that you need to know about is that your life after work is going to last longer than you think it is. Mm-hmm. That's that's where people kind of, you know, fall off the map a little bit as far as being on track for retirement. Mm-hmm. But, and I've told the story before about it, about my grandfather, you know, thinking that he was going to pass away at 79 just because his dad passed away at 79 and he thought he'd had his last birthday. But the reality is that he was here and healthy another nine years. So for him, the math of his ability to fund those additional nine years worked out. But what about when it doesn't? If you're Mm -hmm. assuming that you're going to pass away sooner than when you actually do, then that's going to put you off track on your retirement planning. And if you don't have enough growth built into your plan to fill that gap, that becomes an issue too. I yeah. think a lot of people think, oh, I'm in retirement, I need to be conservative. But you have inflation fighting against you. So if you want to be able to keep your buying power and your dignity, you've got to have a plan for fighting that too. Teresa is absolutely right about this, Janet. A, if you have a broadly diversified portfolio, which is what we ascribe to in the income for life model and the ready for, uh, to retire process, if you have a broadly diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, cash, uh, real estate, things of that nature, you have a 98% success rate in that portfolio lasting 35 years. And here's the if, here's the big if, if it is managed properly. 